Palace of Attila, Ildico. I am dazzled by the splendor of the capital city, by the crowd of kings who await your decisions. Attila, and I am waiting for your decision. Do you agree to become Empress of the North? Ildico, Almighty Emperor, why do you ask for the agreement of a young princess who was given to you without any resistance by these parents? Besides, how could they resist you? It's very strange that you ask for my agreement. Attila, I ask because I love you and I want you to love me too. Ildico, once say I look very much like Heriko. Attila, that's right. You look strangely like the young Keriko except the color of your beautiful golden hair. Ildiko, I know how you loved Keriko and believe in your feelings towards me. But you forget your great Roman bride, the princess Honoria. I am a princess of a small people while she is heir to the throne of a great empire. Attila. I never met Honoria and thought of her all the time, understanding that our marriage would serve to realize the creation of the Roman Hunnic Empire and peace in Europe, my great dream. I had a sincere pity for the princess, and counted on a happy harmony of their relations. Ildico, I do not want to stop your big dream, that Honoria becomes Empress of the North and of the West. I agree to become one of your concubines. Attila, Honoria probably died. If she were alive, then Leon would have found her and sent her to me. Even though it is alive, we can co-direct the future Roman hunky empire without being married. You know, Ildico, I'm actually the man of one love. I have concubines only for political reasons for the esteem of the peoples and tribes of my empire. I love you and you will be my empress. What should I do to deserve your love? Ildico, I am ready to be yours, if it makes the most powerful, intelligent and courageous man on earth happy and makes people happier. Attila, it's the happiest day of my life. <laughs> The scene lights up and then the light turns off. Appears the shaman in a ray of light. Shaman, O Tangra, unique and all-powerful god, the Emperor Attila, son of Manzik, master of the most valiant people, with an unknown power before him created the Northern Empire, from Asia to Germany. He attacked the Western and the Eastern Empires and conquered innumerable cities. After these accomplishments, by your singular favor, great Tangra, he died, not under the blows of the enemy, neither by treason of his own, in the joy of the feast within its intact people, without experiencing any pain. <laughs>
Cleveland.